Oh guys, Spartan Kai, and in today's Battlecats video, I am ranking the Nika Luga set from worst to best, so make sure to stay tuned and watch the video. So, starting off the list, I think this is one of the few things every single Battlecats fan can agree with, but Papa Luga deserves his own tier, and not a good tier, but right down there. It's not even F, I mean, he's the worst non-fest uber. By that I mean like non um you know non event Uber limited, you know, all that stuff. Like, you know, he's up there with Moa Moa. He's awful. Um He fails at everything he tries to do. He has pretty weak stats on top of multi hit. His curse procs are awful. Um yeah, he's he's fragile. He's definitely the worst Uber in the set, and there's uh, I don't think that's a doubt. But next on the list is Furaluga who you know, very good at breaking shields and barriers. Has a lot of flaws outside of that. And everything else is awful. Can't be a generalist. Um, just very specific one niche. So, Furaluga, although it's decent at what it does, it does very little. And it's only good against a few units with shields and barriers. So, Furaluga, although better, is still a D. Alright, next on the list for bad. I'm going to write Noble Luga on because, um, you know, <clears throat> he's a sniper. He has Pierce, which, you know, it's his, really his redeeming factor in my opinion. But he has 2.8 thousand DPS at level 30. And for a sniper, that's abysmal. Um, he's by no stretch a good Uber. And I, I think I see him too many times in the game. He, I wouldn't say he's overrated, but he might be. So Nobuluga, wherever his mustache is, right here. I'm not 100% familiar with the faces on them, but, uh, you know, I can I can break them down. So next we have the basic Nikoluga, who, you know, uh, beginning players, he's pretty good for beginners because his, um, I believe he's knockback and freeze, uh, long range, he's a good support unit. And yeah, early game, he's a pretty viable pick. You could use him in the Manic stages, Cray stages, even. Um, he's pretty good. That's for early game. After that, he kind of falls off. So, I mean, he has some decent range. Um, but his base stats are pretty well. One knockback, like most of them. And yeah, he's a support, so he's not going to be there to carry you. Um, I'm not going to put him in the D tier. I'm going to put him in the C tier. Only because, um, you know, he's quite helpful for beginning players. <clears throat> I just realized I put Nobuluga there, but he's a D. Nikoluga will be our first okay unit. Not good, but not as bad as the other three. And it's definitely more usable. Alright, so Kubaluga. Let me try to find him real quick. That's uh, one of these long neck ones. Um, but anyways, Kubaluga is okay at what he does. He's a pusher. Uh, depending on whether you're using his evolved or true form, he has multi-hit with guaranteed uh, waves and either knockbacks or critical hits, depending on which form you're using. And they could be pretty useful. I think his second form, his evolved form, is more useful because the two or three knockbacks, you know, gives your units a good amount of space. He stands far back enough where he doesn't get hit too often. But in his true form, he has so little damage that it doesn't do much to metals. So... You know, he's good against Metal Quarry. I'll give him that. And uh, some other weaker metal enemies. Maybe the Metal Dogs and stuff. Metal Crocodiles. You know, you can put him in there to clean some of the peons out. If you don't have many other critical hitters. He could be useful for that. But against tankier metals, he's going to dent them. And I mean like a small dent. Not destroy them, but maybe a nick. Alright, so I mean, Kubaluga in his evolved form, though, I think he does alright. He could knock all the units back a couple times, and, you know, he, could out he does his job in that form. His, uh, his true form, he's, um, I think he's very outclassed in that, but not a lot of other units that can knock back enemies multiple times. So, I'll give Kubaluga a straight C. Um, I know he's one of these two. I'm going to say that's Kubaluga. I know the other one's probably Luffy, so I'm going to say that's Kubaluga, and I think I'm right. All right, so next we have Legaluga, who is 
the legend rare of the set. And, you know, he's decent. Nothing bad about him. Actually, there's a lot of bad things about him. But there's also a good amount of, you know, decent things. He's a decent unit all around. You know, he's a rusher. He doesn't have a niche. but And he also gets outclassed by ID and Awaken Muhammad Cat, especially towards middle end game. So, Kubaluga is... Not Kubaluga. Legaluga is one of the more lackluster legend rares in the game. Still not a bad unit. I mean, if you pull him, it's not the end of the world. He has army strike, so you could use him as zombies, but that's about it for that. Um, I think he deserves somewhere in the C's, maybe a higher C. I'll put him over the other units because I think you know Lego Luga. He's in the even though he's one of the worst legends, he's still better than a lot of the Ubers in this set, which is kind of concerning. On my list, uh, he's dead middle. He's fifth out of ten, so he's not bad, but. Once you get Awaken Muhammad Cat, and if you get ID, Yuki Mora, you know, all these units are better. So, I'm going to put Legaluga at the top of C. You know, you roll him, not the end of the world. He's not that bad, but, you know, he's not that great either. So, next we have Asaluga, who, if I believe, so, he's one of these. But. The, he has the longest standing range in the game, fun fact. Um, he's good with cyber stacking. He's a decent support unit. And uh, the next unit on the list will be Baluga. He's pretty similar to him in that term. But Asaluga is... You know, I think he's underrated, honestly. You know, people sweep on him. I forgot he was a Nikaluga, I'm going to be honest. Um, but he's honestly one of the better ones in this set. If you roll him, you can pat yourself on the back. So, I'm going to attempt to find him, because I do not have the pictures memorized. But, wherever he is, um... That would have to be him, right? Let me know down below in the comments if I'm getting the images correct. And I think he's going to break past the C tier, and I'm going to put him in B-. minus Because, he has usages, he also has uh, very low stats, and a uh, long cooldown, but... And so, yeah, that stops you from stacking him. But if you stack him with Cybercat, you have a very good, uh, you have a very good back line. They're expensive, but it's a good back line. So, even if your front line isn't super powerful, that back line can keep the enemies in check. So, I'll put him in a B-. He does his job as a support unit. And next on the list is Baluga. And Baluga is pretty similar to Asaluga, but he has a better skill, which, you know, he freezes and weakens rather than just slow. And freeze is a lot better than slow because... The slow will, you know, the slow stops the enemies from moving so much. But the freeze, they, they're completely immobilized. It's a guaranteed as well, which is very nice. Um, and I think Baluga is another unit that gets, um, that I slept on. I know a lot of people in the community use him, but I have Baluga. I've had the opportunity to get his true form, and I haven't yet. So I'm going to say he's one of the units I've overlooked. And he's a solid role from this set. So he's going to join... Asaluga in the B set. A bit higher, in my opinion. And now next, these two are the most controversial. It's a it's a toss up between Shishalan and Luffy. And um originally it would be Shishalan. He hasn't aged so well. Luffy has. So in the number two spot, it will be Shishalan, who if you get him, many still regard him as the best Uber in the set. It's still a hot topic. But He's a very strong nuker. He has decent range, so he won't get hit all the time. Not long enough that he's completely safe, but, you know, decent nuker range. Um, you know, he has 100 knockbacks. I thought that was an interesting point to bring up because most of these units have one knockback and they're done. He could reposition himself a lot, which reminds me of Matama. They both survive forever, it seems. Uh, you know, Matama has 15 knockbacks and... Every time something touches her, she goes back in her long range, and, you know, her blind spot gets protected again. Even though Shishalan doesn't have a blind spot, it's so useful that he repositions. He's also wave immune, and uh, early game, he's a beast. I mean, he's almost like a better version of Crazed Bahamut. The problem with him is end game, when you start getting a relics and more units with, um, you know, longer range, more power, especially relics, though. Uh, it's a problem for him because he's kind of sluggish 
And if he gets into a position where he keeps getting knocked back, he's obviously less effective. But I'm going to put him either he's like an 89 or an A-. minus. He's somewhere around there. I'm going to put him at an A-. minus. I feel like Shishalan is a very good unit still. Um, especially for the earlier players because they're going to be rolling the set. They get him and they're gonna, it's going to be like Christmas morning. I mean... This is a very interesting set to roll. But number one on my list is going to be Luffy. And I'm only doing this because he only has 700 range, 15,000 DPS, critical hits on top of that. I mean, his his attack power is ballistic. Um, 700 range, yeah, he could outrange a lot of units. Even units with shockwaves, he could outrange some of them. And you bring an octopus or whatever, he's safe from that. But Luffy is cracked. I mean, minus the single target, which, you know, that's obviously a big weakness in some stages, but Luffy absolutely smacks enemies. Um, and that's only level 30, you know, you get him up hyper maxed or whatever. Uh, he's insane. I wish I got him. I have, I've gotten Shishalan on accounts. I've got, I have Papa Luga on mine now. I have Balan. I, I have all these guys, Bao Luga, but Luffy, um, he has his flaws too. I mean, he's, you know, obviously, as I mentioned, single target. And um, like the Nick Lugas, he's slow, which isn't a good trait for a long range unit to be super slow. You want some speed. Um, but yeah, geez, he's strong. Um, so I'm going to have to put him over Shishalan. Shishalan is still a respectably strong unit, but Luffy wins my vote because he could pretty much one shot anything he touches with a critical hit. It's it's insane. Maybe not one shot, but um, he has ballistic power. So I wait a minute. Did I put them in the right tier? Nah. Okay, I caught myself. Right there, Luffy is there. If you guys enjoyed the video, learned something, anything, please make sure to leave a comment down below so I know. And also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn notifications on so you never miss an upload. Sparring Cat signing off. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.